Welcome to Kids Corner at Beachville District Museum. Today, we're going to learn more about the home life of your great grandparents by exploring the summer kitchen. Let's go! The summer kitchen was a separate area in a home that people cooked in during the summer months. During this time period, we had no air conditioning to keep cool in the hot summer months. Since cooking was done on wood-burning stoves, this produced a lot of heat. In order to keep the heat and smoky smells out of the main living area of the house, people relied on summer kitchens to cook their food during the hotter months. Since the summer kitchen was a separate addition to the house, it allowed the main building of the home to remain as cool as possible during the summer. In the winter season, they would cook in the main building as the heat from the ovens and fireplaces helped provide extra warmth. Before the invention of stoves, fireplaces were used to cook food. Wood-burning stoves became popular as they were smaller and used less firewood compared to large fireplaces. Your grandparents may remember these stoves. People who lived in the country often used them until the mid-1900s. Now, let's look at some artifacts that were used in the kitchen. This device may look familiar. It's an egg beater. Before the days of electricity, this egg beater was powered manually. You turned the handle, which rotated the gears and caused the beaters to also turn. For their refrigerators to help store eggs, people use this egg preservation called water glass. Water glassing allowed for long-term egg storage to keep eggs fresh for a longer period of time. If you've ever baked with your grandparents before, you would have used measuring cups and maybe sifters to get the lumps out of flour. Baking materials during your great-grandparents' time looked a little different compared to today. These objects were often made out of tin or metal. Tin was a common material used throughout the early 1900s, unlike plastic or glass that is used now. Teapots were another item that was made out of tin different compared to pottery teapots today. Before the days of going to a grocery store to buy milk, milk was actually delivered to your house in milk bottles. You used this spoon to help scoop out cream out of the milk bottles. This device was an apple peeler. You rotated the handle, which would cause the gears to turn and move the blade that was connected to the device. The blade would then peel the apple that was placed on the spike. Well, that's the end of exploring the summer kitchen. Now, let's open a cookbook from the early 1900s and bake a dessert from your great-grandparents' time. Stay tuned for a demonstrational video.